Hey everyone, welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Hope you're going really well. Today we're gonna to go a little bit different, but uh, I, wanna, I wanna teach you how to beat someone in golf, even if they are experienced, good at it, and practice all the time. So I was up at Noosa um, Friday, Saturday last week doing a, a sales workshop, and then on the Saturday morning met with my business partner Darcy. We played a game of golf at Noosa. Now, I was prepared enough, I'm currently in the process of getting some new clubs, but I took two clubs with me, uh, one fondly known as the Wonder Club, it's a tailor-made uh, hybrid four wood type thing, 22 degree, which I can somehow hit really well, shout out to Phil Curry for uh, giving it to me. The second club I took was my trusty old pitching wedge that I've been practicing in the backyard with. And then the third thing I've been practicing is just simply putting. So if you've been on Instagram stories, you'll know that we just we've got a little putting green here and we just, uh, we just have a little go every day. And what was interesting about that, normally I'm not that prepared. Normally I just hire clubs wherever I go and it takes me nine holes to work out uh, how to actually play with them because everything's different. Uh, but long story short, I smoked Darcy. I was up like by six points at one point. He clawed it back, but still won. And one thing he didn't know is I did that very, very deliberately. Why? Because I'm very competitive at my core and I hate losing to Darcy. So I've been looking at like PGA golf pros, like training tutorials. I've even like signed up to one, give me golf lessons. And one of the best lessons they give in, in some of the early training modules is to go around the whole golf, golf course with two clubs and see what you can score. And so that's what I did. I took my wonder club and I took a pitching wedge, something I can hit mid range, sometimes long range, and something I can play short. And honestly, if you ask Darcy, he'll say that that was the reason why I won the game. I was consistent off the tee, and then the short game and the putting meant that I wasn't losing terrible shots. It got me thinking about business and sales. You can try and do 14 things really well. You can try and practice with all the clubs, so to speak, but you're never going to be great at all of them unless you're like Tiger Woods and you spend your whole life doing it, right? So it means that you're a little bit inconsistent because you're trying to spread yourself too thin. Instead, get really great at just like one or two things and use that as the way to win. Because even if you're going into a market that's experienced, they're good at it and they play all the time, you can have the winning edge if you're just a little bit better in your short game or you're a little bit more consistent in your long game. So what does this mean for you? I would love for you to think about what is the one or two things that you're just gonna get great at in your sales game and in your business and quit trying to be good at everything because the truth is you just simply can't. So shout out to Darcy, unlucky mate. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you on the course this Friday, um, but I uh, hope that helps you. And in the meantime, if there's any other way we can help, uh, just say the word. We'll see you on the next Monday Motivation really soon.